to be back home we've been gone for about five or six weeks and I can't even tell you how good it feels to be in my own bed thank you so much you guys for all of your support and love from the last video that I shared it feels really good to be back to be able to hug my friends and just be with our community and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who contributed to the GoFundMe's that I shared I think I'm gonna be sharing different GoFundMe's of families who are in deep need throughout the year on this channel so that if you feel called to you can support because there are so many families who lost their homes their livelihood their business lived paycheck to paycheck and are starting again from nothing and I just want to share the love as much as I can when I'm learning of different families and friends who know people because even if everyone watching donated five dollars like what a difference that would make to these families and also a little update for those of you who purchased my ebook within the time frame where I was doing a price promotion where 100% of the profits go towards the Hawaii Community Foundation designated for the Maui Strong Fund to support families in need we raised together $13,225 because of you guys so thank you so much Andrew and I sent the check in the mail a couple days ago and I will post on my Instagram stories when I receive a receipt in the mail so you guys can see the receipt so I will update you guys on that if you don't follow my Instagram it's Ellen Fisher and I'll put that on my IG story so you guys can see I'm just so thankful for this community You guys, this has been my holy grail skincare product this summer. It's a multitasking face scrub called the Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub that cleanses, resurfaces, and restores radiance in one step. It's made by Osea, of course, which is a clean, vegan, cruelty-free, seaweed-based skin and body care that's female-founded and family-operated. And I think I'll just share with you what I've been doing lately in the morning to cleanse my face and get my face prepped for the day. Two to three times a week I'm using this and then after I cleanse in the morning, I put on the Day Glow Face Oil, which I'm almost out of, and then I top my skin with the Advanced Protection Cream, which if you watch a lot of my videos, you might have remembered a long time ago when I was talking about this and how it lasts so long. This is the same jar and it just makes my skin feel amazing. And then I add a little bit of the Firming Eye Cream. And I cannot stress enough the importance of naturally derived high performance ingredients. The nourishing whip texture of this Sea Glow resurfacing scrub washes away debris and excess oils to clarify your pores and it makes my complexion feel revitalized and glowing and oh my gosh it smells amazing. It feels so luxurious like something you would get at a spa if you were getting a facial. Just apply to a damp face and gently massage and rinse and use two to three times a week. And it truly is luxurious. It's made with ingredients like flower acids, glacial, oceanic clay and bentonite, volcanic sand, and blue-green algae. It combines physical and chemical exfoliation to promote cell renewal. It smooths away rough, dull, and uneven skin and reveals a softer, silkier, glowing skin. It immediately makes my skin feel softer, fresh, Pressure and more glowing. So you guys have to try this multitasking, exfoliating, resurfacing cleanser. And for a limited time, you can get 10% off your order. Just enter my code Simple Island at checkout. Thank you so much, Osea, for partnering with me for today's video. Just click the link in my bio to get yours now. This house, we just got back and it's still all the kids just left because they were doing homeschool with Andrew and then Andrew got a notification, I don't know if from his friend or what, but they bolted out the door because apparently Air Force One is landing at the airport. Hey, up quick, if we drive quick, we can see it from the air. So they're driving now, they're just the Air Force One because Joe Biden's coming to speak to, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but he's coming to Maui because of the fires. He might be speaking to people on the west side in Lahaina. I'm not totally sure, but because we're really excited 
to see Air Force One in the air. Little Colfax doesn't even really get it. He's like, what are we doing? Okay. <laughs> so now the house is quiet and a mess. You saw the helicopter, Air Force One helicopter? We saw it landing. And the airplane! We were coming down, we turned and on the way off the highway, and I was like, I think that's it. It is so hot and muggy today. Oh my gosh. So wet it. My hair is just adjusting, coming from back from all the dry heat on the mainland. We had such a great time visiting family in California, and also my sister in Idaho, who moved there not too long ago. The whole trip was basically just spending time with their cousins and doing all sorts of fun California things. Disneyland just the two of us and it was so special definitely core memory for sure we spent all day at Disneyland together and it was one of the best days ever getting one-on-one -on -one time with the kids is so important I just see my children shine when I'm able to give them that undivided one-on-one -on -one attention we definitely have to be conscious of this need to schedule one-on-one -on -one time because we have so many kids but it's so worth it. I always find it so beneficial and enriching for our relationships and just for the children in their love that they feel from us. So yeah, Scout and I had the best time. Andrew got to have some one-on-one -on -one time with the older boys. They went to Wild Rivers and yeah, it was just so much fun. Every year when we visit family, we squeeze into Grandma and Papa's house, all seven of us to come just integrate into their home, but they're always so gracious. This is Andrew's parents to make room for us. And then in Idaho, we all squeezed into my sister's house. And Idaho is just so beautiful in the summer. We have so much fun spending the afternoons at the river and it's super hot and the sun goes down really late and it's just super beautiful. The water's super cold and the kids love floating down the river and throwing rocks and yeah, the kids have such a great time. And then this time we also went up to the mountains. It was a little bit of a drive and it was such a beautiful drive just having the river all next to us and the big green mountains, big green trees. It was just so beautiful. Look for bears, guys. What? Look for bears and deer out there. And we spent a couple days up in the mountains experiencing the different type of nature up there. The mountains are just so majestic and we got to jump off a dock and swim in a lake. Just a totally different type of nature experience than what we're used to here in Hawaii. And there was this one spot where we kayaked and I'm telling you guys, it was so beautiful. The water was pristine and it was reflecting ourselves in the kayak into the water, like that clear and calm and just so beautiful. And there were bald eagles there. We saw bald eagles flying. Not American you might not know it's the country bird it's a very majestic bird that's very special to America so that was the kids first time and my first time seeing a bald eagle Andrew seen bald eagles before because he grew up going to Alaska in the summers that was really special and just kayaking with the kids was just amazing there were these yellow wildflowers everywhere it was so beautiful I can't wait to go back next year we're gonna have to go to that spot and go to the mountains every year now I think when we go visit them. There's so many different types of beautiful nature out there, not just tropical and most of the type of nature that we experience is here in the tropics obviously, but Idaho was just beautiful. I've had some good days 
And I've had some work None compared to the days that I had with you And I've had some high times And I've had some curse But none compared to the times that I Take out a loan for just one day alone To run back the time in slow motion I'd sell my guitars, I'd spend life behind bars To take one more trip through the story night This was the best day of my life Thanks for the best day of my life And then to cap off the trip, we celebrated Danny's first birthday at my friend Kesley's house. Yeah, happy birthday! <laughs> that was so fun, just spending time together. We made a cake from my ebook, Epic Vegan Cravings, and I kind of fiddled with the recipe a little bit to go with huckleberries because we got to pick wild huckleberries in the mountains, and the kids loved that. Just being able to pick fresh berries that are different to what they're used to. They were so excited. They spent like hours foraging for huckleberries. So I wanted to incorporate the huckleberries into the lemon poppy cake that's in my recipe book. And I normally use strawberries and raspberries, but this one we did huckleberries and like a darker berry jam to go with it. It was so yummy. We gave Dagny a slice of cake and it was just a perfect little celebration with just the three families. last five six weeks now we're back to our homeschool rhythm and it feels really good to be back for those of you who watched my last video where I was talking about the idea to go back to Idaho to do like a wintry snowy Christmas right as Andrew and I got back like the first night we laid in bed and we're just like exhaling from the intensity of flying with that many kids and that much luggage with so many kids and he looked at me he's like I don't want to fly again for a while <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be able to get out for Christmas but one of these days I want a snowy Christmas and it's also just a, like expensive it's expensive to fly our whole family and it's just it's not really in the budget you know what I mean someday snowy Christmas Fisher family it's happening but not this year probably
love you this much. Oh, I love you.